Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a question in here from Jack on the email. And uh, Jack writes in and says, Hey Matt, uh, thanks for the great content you continue to put out on YouTube. Big fan. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking to upgrade in the next few months from an older Olympus E510. I don't have a huge budget for this upgrade, five to $600, so I'm probably looking at a used entry-level DSLR. But I'm not entirely sure what I should go for. I mostly shoot landscapes with some night photography and street as well, though less often. Any help will be greatly appreciated. Cheers, Jack. Well, thanks for your question, Jack. And an interesting question because I'll tell you why. I was just looking at just as a thought exercise and for a project I was considering, this same type of question you have of what I would buy right now for a DSLR, for an inexpensive APS-C DSLR, but still good performance that I would use uh, if I was in your situation or if I was going to use it for this project I have in mind. And you know what's flagged in my head that I, I think may be the biggest sleeper out there perhaps right now? It is the Canon SL2. Lots of people are loving this camera and for good reason. Top performing Canon sensor and you're getting it at a crazy inexpensive price around $500 I think brand new body only. I think it's around just under six with with a kit lens. Uh, you could probably find it used or refurbed for less than that so it should fit your budget and great performing little camera. Same sensor as is in all the newer APS-C cameras from Canon like the 80D or the 77D or the T7i but uh, at a much lesser price, smaller, lighter too, which I really like. So great for travel and backpacking and all that sort of thing. Um, and uh, it's got dual pixel AF and good video. So it doesn't shut you out if you want to do video as well. It's a great all-rounder. And it's really a camera I'm looking seriously at for this project I have on hand, which tends to fit your needs here as well. The lenses I would go with is the 50mm f1.8 STM. You probably, for those of you the regular viewers, and Jack, if you've been watching, you know I have that my set of four best value Canon lenses. So the 50 f1.8 STM Canon, uh, which is a, a steal of a value at around 125 bucks. Uh, the 10 to 18 STM, no brainer for a wide, great deal too. Just a great value on that lens. Um, I would go with either the 18 to 55 if you want to stay small and light, but I really like the 18 to 135 STM just for the range, and it's still fairly small and light. And then the 55 to 250 is a really good value lens, the STM. It's a sleeper lens, got IS. Um, very good performing for the price. Great set of value lenses there. Um, if the SL2 isn't appealing to you, if it's too small or you want something a little more high end, consider a used 70D or an 80D. Both amazing cameras um, and can be had for very close to your budget there, especially if you get one used or if you get one refurbed. The 70D more so, but the 80D, you might have to stretch your budget just a little, but quite a camera. That's what I would do. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the SL2? Do you think the SL2 is a great option? Like I've been hearing from so many people, and I got to get that thing in and review it is what I have to do. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let's help out Jack. Uh, leave your feedback below, your comments, what would you do and why. And it um, doesn't have to be Canon either. That's just what come to mind because the SL2 is what I've been looking at for this situation. Could be Nikon, could be Panasonic, could be Sony, whatever. Let us know in the comments below. What would you do and why? Thanks for your question, Jack. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.